Hello, I'm John Lewis, I'm the General Secretary of the Society of Antiquaries, and the thing I would like from our collections in my Christmas stocking is this beautiful clock that sits in my office, but used to sit in our library. Uh, and the reason I love it <coughs> is because it tells <coughs> so many stories um, that are sort of intertwined with what the Antiquaries is about and who we are. The clock was built in the 1650s by Thomas Nifton of Lothbury in London, just behind where the Bank of England now is. And um, it would originally have stood in uh, the hallway of a big ho uh, house in the city, and the lovely bell would have sounded out the hours for the household. <coughs> it's weight driven, and um, it's only got one hand. You can see it's only got one hand. Um, and it's, considering its, it's age and, and date is quite accurate. One of the other things I love about it is that if you open up the clock, these are the things here, the dial face here, this whole face, is made out of reused brass. And on the inside of this face are deeply scored, let, uh, deeply engraved lettering. Um, and uh, we think that this piece of brass um, is taken from a, uh, a church monument um, uh, dating to about 1610. So a monument to somebody who was buried in a church. And then presumably during the protectorate, during the 1650s, um, uh, Puritans were going around ransacking churches, taking out uh, any sort of, um, sort of grand things. And they probably ransacked the church, took out the, the, the brass monuments and sold them off as scrap. And Thomas Nifton bought the scrap and turned it into this beautiful, beautiful object. And it's extremely rare, very charming, uh, and, um, and I love it a bit.